Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot, and I have a haul for you today. Some of it is garage sale, some of it is thrift, and one thing, of course, is a Louis Vuitton item that I purchased online. Uh, I hope everyone is well and had a great week. We are gearing up for fall winter season here. It's gotten cold. <laughs> So, not as cold as some places, though, and prayers in that for all of my Florida people. Um, I hope you are all safe and well. My brother is in St. Pete Beach, and they're okay, but my nephew is in Fort Myers, and it's pretty bad down there. So, my prayers for everyone involved. Uh, so, I am going to get started with my haul. Uh, some things are for sale. I'll let you know if I'm keeping or selling. So if you're interested, you can message me or you can check out my Mercari. The link is below. If you want to email me about something, my email is below as well. And it is askmissshopslot at gmail.com. All right. So first we'll do random. Disney is a, usually a good seller for me. And this is not Disney. <laughs> I forgot what was in here. This is a Radco, I believe it's called a Honey Bear. Radco, some of them are worth a lot. Some of them are worth a decent amount. And some of them aren't worth anything. But this one is a decent one. And it was five. I offered her three. And she took three. Let me just back you up there. There we go. Uh, this is a game... I've been picking, I pick up games. I've said it before in videos, kind of like how people used to rent videos. <laughs> we kind of rent games if they're under $5. This one's a little more, but um, if they're terrible, we toss them or not toss them, but redonate them. If they're good, we keep them. And this is Bears versus Babies. It's brand new. I think these are like $25 at um, like Target or Walmart or whatever. Could be less. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> that one's just a guess because their games are crazy expensive. <clears throat> this I picked up for my daughter. This is a Tease Smart Heated Mug Kit with lid, spoon, what does it say? Something pad and herbal tea. Um, I have the... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. I wanted it so bad and I finally have one and I love it. It's the heated tea mug. Uh, so that's basically what this is. It's the, I believe though, this is just heated and it keeps your, yeah, it just keeps your tea warm. Um, if she doesn't want it, I may just put it in a giveaway or something. So that was $5. So my Goodwill was doing really good price wise. Like some things were expensive, but for the most part, Everything was uh, priced decently. And in the last three weeks, things have just gotten crazy. Um, they had like all the shoes went up from three and five to 10 and 12, which is just at that point, some of them are, you know, if it's something special, sure. But at that point, you're paying for almost retail at this point. Because retail right now is, you can get a lot of things cheap. Clothes, shoes. Um, <clears throat> so when it starts to get, you know, pricey for Walmart, Walmart brands and all that, I'd rather just buy it from the source where it's brand new. I get to pick what I, exactly what I want and not bother. But yeah, my Goodwill has gone crazy. They had a, uh, the original Cricut cutting machine, which you can buy on eBay for like 25 to 50 at most. And they had $50 on it. And I was just like, ah, yeah. But, like, other things are, are just crazy. You'll see a candle with the price of $3.99, and they'll have $9.99 on it. So sometimes, especially now, it seems with the prices that some of these thrift stores are asking, it's almost better to start going back to retail at this point. I will always thrift because I love it. But if I need something and it's more expensive at the thrift store, I will definitely just go to the store. So, I have picked up a couple of coach hats in the past, but they're guys' hats. And I really wanted a coach hat to go with my coach jean jacket. Um, and this one is, was sitting there as soon as I walked into 
Plato's Closet for $18, brand new. I love it that it's white and has the tan, so I was super excited about this. So that I am for sure keeping <laughs> to add to my hat collection, which has gotten extensive as of late. Um, okay, this one will do last. Let's see what do we have here. One, two shoes. So I picked these up. I thought these were really cute. Um, they were $7, which is at the lower end of what they're now asking for shoes. Um, these are Ve Veja. And these are pretty expensive. You know what? They remind me of tree torns when we were kids. Um, but I will be reselling these. And these sell used between 50 and 70. So I would say roughly 60 bucks for these. Um, some up to 80. I think these are like a hundred and something dollars a piece. And these are black and whites, which is a good color. These were actually a very good deal. I wish they were my size. I'm super sad they're not. They are gold and brown Birkenstocks. They look hardly used. There's no like toe prints yet. Um, love, love, love these this color combo. These were $3.99. This was before the the price increase. Um, these were $6.99. And I love these. I wanted some Python white python booties for seven bucks i will take those all day i love this this is a good nude for me in the winter these ones how much did i pay for these i believe these were six dollars at amvets um i am gonna change i love these but i am going to change the laces just too much for me they're cute if they're if I was younger but I am going to put black laces and I think these are really super cute we I might actually wear it this weekend we go to Oktoberfest in Ellicottville and it's amazing it's so much fun it's so fall you can't get any more fall than Oktoberfest in Ellicottville um we there's two buses rented I think there's 50 people going 50 60 people and it's a really really good time so i'll probably get some laces and wear those with a cute pair of jeans and some sort of tans and browns on top okay this was a dollar 99 it is bare minerals it's brand new i will probably resell these even though these are really good colors nice neutral colors um for two dollars i will probably be reselling those this is dry shampoo from wella i've used this stuff before this was 69 cents this is expensive stuff it is hakura hanacure all-in-one start south korea facial lifting serum gelling solution it was $3.50. It sold at Barney's for $29. Not that that's super expensive, but I believe these resell for a little more. But it's brand new. I may or may not try it myself. I'm not sure. I got my nephew's wedding coming up next Friday, so I'm super excited about that. So we'll see. Uh, this is the Magic Eyeliner and Eyelashes Kit. Five pairs False eyelashes, two magic eyeliners, and a pair of tweezers. These were a dollar. We'll see. These might be, like, super cheap. I am not sure yet. I have to open them. Um, let's see what we got here. Aromatherapy oil. It was $2. This stuff is expensive. Resale. It is bergamot essential oil aromatherapy by Beth. And Body Works, I actually had a really expensive, like $70 a bottle hair stuff from Bath & Body Works that I found that it's worth $70 now. And of course, my dog got a hold of it, so now it's mine. <laughs> now I wear $70 hair oil. It is nice, though. I uh, love this guy. He was $1.98, and I love him. He is so cool. He's by, he's made in Canada, hand wood carved. 
Oh, he's so cool. I love anything in Lucite. He is, is so cool. So, picked him up for myself. This I was considering giving to my husband. I don't know if he's going to want it or not. I thought it was really cool. It was $4. I've never seen one like it. And it's a drawer. Like a little, you know, like a little caddy. I wonder if we could put, like, cigars in there. I think that's... I don't know. I want to say it's either monkey pod or teak. I can't tell. Super cool, though. I liked it. And now I think the rest of this is jewelry. So, for those of you who don't like the jewelry part, you can skip on through. For those of you that do, here we go. I showed these before. I bought these similar ones from a lady online, and I just picked these ones up from her as well. These were $10 a piece. This guy is amazing. These, I love, I'm obsessed. How cool these are. So I picked those up. Um, okay. These were a dollar. Mm -hmm. And. Okay. So these were a dollar. They're very pretty. I love bling and big. So I picked those up. This was $3, but I love this first. My um, little Louis. Give it some color. Just a little uh, strap. What else we got here? I picked up this belt. I believe this is Whiting and Davis. Yeah, this is Whiting and Davis. I love Whiting and Davis stuff. Anything Whiting and Davis, I pretty much love. And this was $2.98. This was. $15. It is sterling. This is not um, turquoise. It's a, It's like a, I don't know, like a plastic, stone plastic kind of thing. But for $15, I thought it was still pretty. It is sterling. It is marks Mexico. Still looks, you know, good. This one, however, is sterling and real turquoise. And I paid a dollar a piece for these two. The older sterling isn't marked. I already tested it. It is sterling. Uh, this is the petite point. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And this was a dollar. This was a dollar and this one, <laughs> this was fun. And I just went back to the same store. Um, I'm not giving away my names anymore. And this store, um, I actually just went back after I bought these and wound up getting a Navajo sterling silver watch for a dollar as well. And a big chunk of turquoise. But this is handmade. It is marked made in Mexico. It is sterling. And it's little hats. And I believe this is like holsters, gun holsters. I thought it was some kind of weird sandal, but I believe they're gun holsters, right? It go that way. No, I think it goes that way. Or spurt. I don't know. It needs to be cleaned. It is pretty dirty um it was marked it's marked 925 somewhere i believe or sterling somewhere but uh, uh, it is really cool i'm gonna clean that up uh these were all a dollar these were a dollar 98 i believe so we got this one which is marked sterling. It is beaded. This one, 
which was this Mark Sterling or not? It's not Sterling, but it is turquoise and coral. Coral. I can't help myself. This is beautiful. These were all from the same store. This big necklace where I'm, these are, this is coral as well. Or something died. Um, it is cold to the touch, but now I see. So this one could be something died. Still very, very pretty. And this one is sterling silver. And this one is definitely coral and turquoise. And like I said, all these, these, this, and the other this we're all from the same store not this one this is from and that's and this so the bracelets are a dollar and the necklaces are 198 or 199 i picked this up for seven dollars this is sterling silver so pretty I'm going to clean that up. It is very, very pretty. So I picked that one up for seven. I picked this one up. This one I paid a little bit more for, but I think it is beautiful. It is turquoise, or not turquoise, pearls. It's marked 925 something else, but it's so, it's very pretty with the, like, almost like faceted. very very pretty it looks very expensive and that was 11 um this one was 50 cents this was 50 cents keep missing something hanging here uh these were 50 cents don't know if these are real they're definitely sterling but there is a mark on the back it's just so small I can't see it so I'm gonna have these looked at but either way I love these and we got these were 650 at closed mentor which I am obsessed with these so cute for the summer summer's over but next summer <laughs> Um, I picked these up. A nice little sundress. I think those are amazing. These I picked up from a garage sale, and these were it was five dollars for both. Um, so two fifty a piece. This is Silpata. However, one of the pearls had fallen off, so I'm gonna see if I can fix that. If not, maybe I'll sell it as is or. Just melt it down if it's unsellable. And this is sterling silver and mother of pearl. It's so, so pretty. And this was $2.50. Then we have this, which I believe this is Silpata. Yep, this is Silpata, and this was $3.99. needs a good cleaning <coughs> this I purchased at my um, my local consignment shop that I can sign with um, I wanted it since it came out but it was a little more than I wanted to pay so I waited till it went half off and I got it and it is this uh, food dog I think it's a food dog or a dragon uh, it is sterling and it's marked made in China silver with a P. And I paid $25 for this. I paid up for him. But, so you can either get your money at 50-50 or you can get it at 60-40 if you buy something from the store. So, it works out. Actually, I think I only paid $15 for this because I had a $10 coupon and then the percentage off. So, I think it was only like $15 or $12, something like that. Uh, this is brand new from... Uh, Plato's, I believe it is. 
six dollars for this bobby brown lipstick and i love the color it's my favorite mauve mauve and the mauve girl yes i was a jewish new york um grandma in a former life because when i'm drinking or excited it comes out and i i don't understand <laughs> where it comes from but yeah i clutch my pearls and everything that's not really the accent but you get it this was also from Plato's, and this was, I believe this was like three bucks, um, and it is a pink and silver, or rose gold, whatever, watch for my Apple Watch. Uh, this necklace, I paid six dollars for it, which I thought was an amazing deal, and it is this sterling, it looks brand new link necklace it's pretty thick really really pretty so I paid six for that last but not least we got this little bag of tricks from my thrift store uh this was a dollar 99 this is something it's cold so i'm not quite sure what but i thought they were really pretty uh, we got these. Oh, let's see. We got this with sterling silver for seven ninety nine. It's cuff with the hearts, and it's says daughter knows no distance. The oh, the love between a mother and daughter knows no distance. Engraved inside. So I'm gonna give this to my mini monster. Uh, this one I picked up from my friend's husband. I don't know if he's going to want it or not, but if he doesn't, I'll just sell it. And it is this cat necklace with all these different kitties on a black rubber rope. It, it didn't look as, it didn't look feminine to me, so I thought maybe. Um, I believe this is, yeah, it's alpaca. Mexico, so it's like a mix of sterling and other metals. This is also a dollar ninety nine. I'm not sure again what if this is turquoise or some sort of like I don't know Chinese turquoise. It's very pretty. It is cold to the touch. I thought these were really nice, especially for doing a sale. This may have been changed. I don't know, and maybe it I don't know. Uh, this I paid $7.99 for, and it is sterling. I have a couple of these. Um, I'm going to be reselling those. They're really nice, especially to lock, you know, wear them together. These are for me. These were $8, and they are sterling silver hoops. Oh, $6. $7. They're sterling silver hoops. And I love my big hoops. And if they're silver, even better. And lastly, these were $6 for eight pendants. And we have... I don't know if they're sterling or not, but I thought they were pretty. Some sort of stones. There's this one. This one. I'll have to go over them to see if they're... sterling or not but either way i thought they were really pretty this one this one i mean i can't tell if they're silver or not One. This one. And then these two. They're definitely some sort of polished rocks or 
gems. I don't know. But I thought they were neat. So that's the end of the jewelry portion. Now let's do purses. Yay! <laughs> First thing up is this vintage coach. It's the only kind I will buy of coach unless it's a newer style or it's super cheap. Um, I do not get the canvas ones really anymore. This just needs to be cleaned up. I forget what name this is, but this is a good vintage coach leather. Just needs a cleaning. Um, I am going to take one day next week and I have a, <laughs> a huge bucket of vintage bags and I'm just going to fill the giant bucket up with hot, warm, soapy water, wash each individual bag, hang them out to dry, and then leather condition them and everything. I watched a YouTube video and they make the bags look almost brand new. It's amazing. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I will probably do a special sale just for selling Vintage Coach because I probably have 30 at least. I picked this up at a garage sale for <clears throat> $5. It's in really good condition. It has some light wear, but nothing major. Uh, the inside is pretty good. It is authentic. I like that it has the short and long crossbody strap. So for $5, that was definitely a good shaped, a bag that's in good shape. Uh, here we have another vintage coach. This was $5.89. It had the coach care instructions still in it. It's a little crossbody. It's in pretty good condition. Um, not a ton of wear in it. So I did pick that up to resell. All these bags are for resale. This Michael Kors was three dollars this one doesn't look like it was ever used really it's really good condition it's got the nice chain handles and the handles are really good inside is really nice got a couple wrappers here it still has the michael kors card in there so i picked that up for three dollars and will be reselling this as well then we have this Dean and DeLuca bag. These sell for like $25, so I picked this up. I think it was a dollar. It's brand new, still has the tags. Oh no, I lied, it was $4. Brand new, Dean and DeLuca. I had never heard of them before. Um, <clears throat> so I picked those up. Last bag. But certainly not least, I paid a little more for this. Um, it was in It's in gorgeous condition. I think she said she never used it. Oh, wait, there's stuff in here. Oh, darn. Oh, let me show you the stuff first. So, <laughs> more jewelry. Yay! Some of you guys love it. Some of you guys hate it. It's fine. Um, I picked this necklace up. I think it's 925. But I thought I thought it was so pretty. It's a two-sided herringbone. Herringbones used to be my favorite when I was younger. Um, I know that one was these were only a dollar a piece. This is a 925 14 carat um Carolyn Pollock. It's Mark 925 and 14 karat. Um, and it is this pretty. This These were from garage sales. Twist bracelet. Love this. This was. Oh. This was a dollar. They're ring adjusters. So you like put them around your rings that are too big. Uh, these were a dollar. She wanted two. I offered her a dollar. It's an eyebrow stamping kit. I have one. We'll we'll try that. I thought that said it expired in 09. And last, this was a dollar as well. And it is a Swarovski ballerina necklace by Prestige. If you can see 
see that. There we go. So pretty. So I will be selling some of that now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize there was still stuff in it. Okay, so I paid $25 for this one, but it was nice because she took Venmo. So I didn't have to spend a lot of my own cash. This is brand new. She said she used it once. I mean, this it's like brand new. It's not brand new. Um, that is authentic. I love the color that mauve, mauve, it's mauve, mauve blush color. Um, it's coming off more of a raspberry, but it is. I mean, I guess raspberry, like a light raspberry. I like mauve. I think mauve is the color. So I will be reselling this as well. Um, beautiful condition. If I used Coach, I would probably keep it, but I tend to not. So I'm done keeping things just because they're pretty. Because if I don't wear them, it's kind of a waste of money. Now, last but not least is my Louis Vuitton item. This is probably one of the craziest things I've ever bought. Um, just because it's it's insane. Um, the fact that anyone paid retail for this is even more insane. Um, I paid $80 for it. <laughs> which is a lot, you know, but not for Louis Vuitton. Definitely not for Louis Vuitton. Um, I try to keep my Louis Vuitton buys um, under 100 or under 500 depending on the bag. Um, I have yet not spent over 500 on a bag yet. So, <clears throat> and that's for like newer stuff that has just come out. But anyways, blah, 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 blah. Um, I paid $80 for this. It retailed for, I think, 600 and sells for between three and five, depending. They're really hard to find. Um, I had it authenticated and it is authentic. Um, they're not easily, like, you don't find a lot of them. Now, this is the GM. I can't even imagine what the PM and MMs are because this is the GM. And this is the, oh, no, I can't think of the name. I don't know. It's a tray, okay? It says Louis Vuitton Paris, and it is a tray. Valet tray? I think it's a valet tray. Like, for a guy to throw his keys and his wallet and whatnots in. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a couple of watermarks. Uh, she sold her, she had some other Louis Vuitton stuff that she sold really cheap, but I just wasn't in a buying mood, so I didn't buy the other stuff. Um, SP1127, uh, so yeah, this is probably the craziest thing I've purchased, like, $600 tray. I mean, yeah, here, let me throw my, my bracelet in there and my stuff. And yeah, so I'm not going to keep this probably. No, Christy, you're not keeping it. I want to. I so want to. But I mean, what would I do with it? What? Don't talk me into it because I'm like so close to keeping it. So close to keeping it. Let's get a thumbnail. Do do. So that is my haul, and I hope you guys like my stuff that I found. Um, I hope you enjoy watching the videos. I appreciate all of you, and as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.